it's gonna be pretty much an update video this is the motor for my Passat that pretty much spun a bearing and locked up the motor got everything off of it and pretty much what happened was that it spun number one bearing look at the bearing right there it's pretty much trash now I called around and every place that I talked to, they told me it would be anywhere from $400 to $700 for them to, to redo this. So, $400 $700, I can get a 1.18 motor. <laughs> the whole motor for that. Um, so, I just said, pretty much right now, until I can find something dirt cheap, to get it. Or I can find a crank for dirt cheap. So that's what's up with that on the engine stand right now. This right here is a head off of it. Which I pretty much had rebuilt and redone. So that's pretty much new and in perfectly good condition. Um, so I'm debating on what I'm probably going to do with it. Short runner intake and everything. So I'm debating what I'm going to do with this. And this right here is my number three option. This is a two point. This is another two point. This is a whole motor I have sitting in my backyard. And with this, I'm debating on what I'm going to do. Complete motor. Nothing wrong with it. Got it from a car and it's been just pretty much sitting for a couple of years. Spins, turns, and everything. Everything's fine on it. So, I don't know. But, I have want to turbocharge my car. So, what I'm thinking about doing is, since my car right now, it's it got a 1.8 16-valve in it, and it works fine. So, I can either put all the turbo parts, well, lower the compression, put two head gas with lower the compression on it. And then just turbocharge it with a six puck. That's what what's one of my plans are. Or I'm going to just say forget it and just dry it stock and then just take this motor off. You know, pretty much take this motor off and put it in a bag or something and junk it somewhere. Well, pretty much put it somewhere until I can find a crank for it. And then just take that motor right there and put it on the engine stand, tear it down, and just completely rebuild it with force pistons, rods, everything else on it. That's where I'm at, what thinking about doing right now because in my Chiraco, the AC works fine on it, so like I don't really want to take the AC out. <laughs> I can easily, but I just don't want to take it out because since it, it works fine, so it's like, eh, I don't want to pull it. And it might, yeah, I don't want to pull it. I want to keep the AC in it, so I might just take the motor. I'm going to take the other motor. Pistons, well, low compression pistons, forge rods. Put my sport and polish heads and everything else on it and just ride it like that. So this is just an update on what I'm debating on doing with it.